When it comes to track machines, your undercarriage is often the most expensive wear item you've got. If you're not turning the pins and bushings, you could be throwing away a lot of money. These components tend to wear unevenly, so turning them adds more life and you get way more out of your undercarriage that you've already paid for. But not all pin and bushing turns are the same. A dry turn flips the parts but reuses old seals and doesn't refill the oil. It works in some situations, but most of the time a wet turn is the better way to go. It gives you new wear life, new seals, and a fresh oil. We use a vacuum fill process to make sure oil goes exactly where it needs to and fully seals in. Because the pins stay lubricated, you generally get longer wear life and fewer problems with wet turn versus a dry turn. Components last longer and you avoid costly downtime. Let's take a quick walk through the process. Remember, a wet pin and bushing turn requires skilled professionals and specialized tooling. Do not attempt it yourself without the proper training and personal protective equipment. We start with a high pressure wash to clean out dirt, mud, and debris because a clean track makes for a smoother job. Next, we check the oil reservoir openings for wear, looking for metal smearing and peening. If we find any burrs, we grind them down to keep things seating properly. Then we drill out the stoppers and vacuum out the old oil. Last, we measure the track shoes, links, and bushings. If we see anything that's too worn to reuse, we flag it. Now it's time to break down the track. First step, remove the shoes. Now we check the track press to confirm its spec and measure track link offset. If we need any shims or spacers, we line them up now. Then we align the tooling with the pin and bushing so the bushing sits correctly in the press. Once everything's set, we press out the pins and bushings. If the track has retaining rings, they usually pop off on their own, but if they don't, we knock them out. Finally, we remove the thrust rings and check them for cracks because a bad one will wear out fast. With the track disassembled, we clean everything, removing any oil, dirt, or debris. We mark the pins and bushings so they go back in the right way. We also inspect the track pins for cracks, plugged cross holes, or other damage. Next, we lubricate the stoppers and install them in the track pins. Then we clean the track link faces and the counter bores. Last, we install the new seals to make sure they're seated correctly. Now we're ready to turn the pins and bushings. This is what resets the wear pattern and extends the life of your undercarriage. We rotate each bushing 180 degrees so the unworn side faces the track link. The track pins get rotated too, with cross-drilled holes facing the wear surface to prevent breakage. Alignment here is everything. If the cross-drilled hole isn't in the right spot, the pin can break under pressure. And if the bushing isn't set right, the seals won't hold. Now it's time to reassemble the track. First, we bolt the split master link together to align the bushing ends. We apply a thin coat of oil to the bushings and lower the hold down shoe just enough to make contact. Then we press the master links onto the bushing, right side first, then left, keeping the bushing protrusion in spec on both sides. We use only half the force when assembling the master track links. Next, we install the thrust rings on both ends of the pin, always lubricating with grease, not oil, to prevent galling. Then we insert track pin and bushing in the front pocket of the saddle, applying another thin coat of oil to the bushings. Finally, we move the right-hand track link with the press until it contacts the pin and bushing. We repeat that on the left side, continuing the process until all the links are back in place. We're almost done now. If the track has retaining rings, we press them into the track pin grooves and lock everything into place. We also check the track joints articulation and end play, making sure there's enough flexibility to keep them functioning properly. Then we fill each joint with oil and reinstall the track shoes using proper torquing procedures. Now we can put the tracks back on the machine, check the tension, and confirm the oil filled joints are properly lubricated. With that, this machine is ready to go back to work. Undercarriage is one of the biggest investments you make in your equipment, and a wet pin and bushing turn is one of the best ways to protect that investment. It keeps your track pitch in check, reduces wear on other components, and helps prevent premature failure. 
All that can save you big in both downtime and money. So don't wait until it's too late. Schedule a wet pin and bushing turn today and keep your undercarriage working longer for less.